Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be my 25th birthday haul. I recently turned 25 on May 28th and I got myself some gifts and my friends and family also got me some things. So if you wanna see what I got for my 25th birthday, then just keep watching. I'll start with some of the items that aren't super tangible for the video. So for starters, shout out to my mom. She took me and my friend to Bali and Springs Spa in Virginia and she literally paid for everything and also got us a Maryland Blue Crab. And if you know me, you know that that's one of my favorite foods, like literally one of my death row meals. If you're from Maryland, then I'm sure you are very familiar with this, but for those of you who are not, Blue crab is like a staple of Maryland and my mom got us two dozen crabs. So shout out to her mom. Thanks for having me for the whole weekend. It was so fun hanging out with you and Mr. Michael and all of that. And then next, shout out to my stepdad, Mr. Michael and also my grandma. They both gave me cash for my birthday, which I love because I used that to get some of these gifts that you guys are gonna see. So big shout out to them. And now we can move on to what my sister got me. She got me one of my Holy Grail products, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And she got me the 1.7 ounce size. And if you know, you know that cream is steep, but I can't live without it. And I haven't found anything that even compares to that cream. So shout out to my sister for getting me one of those because literally every time I have to repurchase it, it is so painful. So next up are two gifts that my friend Mia got me. First off, one of these Fujifilm Polaroid cameras and she has one and we love to use it when we take trips and she knows that I've been wanting one and I love the blue, it's like Carolina blue. Um, and that's where we met at UNC, so love that touch. And yeah, I'm super excited to use this. I love a good Polaroid and this is like fulfilling one of my dreams from high school because literally in high school when these cameras were so popular, like I really, really wanted one. So thank you so much Nia for that. And she also got me an item off of my 2024 wish list. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it for you guys. But she got me these Desi Sunnies and this is in the style on red. I'm literally obsessed with them. I'll put them on so you guys can see. Like perfect fit. They pass my shake test because I hate when glasses like fall off if I look down or move my head. And I'm obsessed with the color. I love that they're matte and it's this like light brown stone color. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with these. So thank you so much, Nia. I have been really wanting these sunglasses. Honestly, they've been on my wish list for like the last two years. So, so happy to finally have these. And this next part of the video is for gifts that I bought myself and I went a little crazy, but since 25 is such a big birthday, I thought, why not? Starting off, I got a few items from Essence because Essence always has the best sales and they have a really, really good Jack Moo selection. So the first item that I got from Essence is ta -da! this little Jack Moose hat. And this is actually in the navy color because that's the color that was on sale. So I think I got this for like just over $100. Um, so again, love a good sale, but this is the hat. And I actually haven't tried it on since I got my hair done. So let's do that now. I seriously hope it fits. Okay. And it fits perfectly because it's not too tight, but also not too loose where it's gonna blow off my head. But I really, really like this hat and it looks so cute. And I'm definitely going to be wearing this during the summer, keeping the sun out of my face. So I love this hat. And I also love that um, it says Jack Moose in like the silver because I feel like a lot of their bags, like the hardware is gold. So that was something else that I loved about this hat. The next item I got from Essence is this Jack Moose card holder. I've really been needing another card holder and I didn't have one in black. And I like that it has this little flap over here to keep your card secure. Um, the only downside to this is it literally has one pocket. So this is technically like a little pouch rather than a card holder because there's only one space for your cards. But either way, I love it. And it's perfect for, if you just have a couple cards that you need with you and you have like a little bag and a lot of my bags are small. So this is what I picked up and I like that it says Jack Moose. 
very unassuming in the corner but again this was also on sale and i'll link everything down below but i love this card holder and i've been using it literally every day since i got it and i also love that it came with this little dust bag too the last item that i got from essence was a pair of sambas these are the black adidas sambas i have been fighting the urge to buy these shoes for the last year or so and honestly like i really thought that i wanted the white pair but essence did not have my size in the white pair they only had my size in black and i was like why not i really really want to try these shoes and i am so glad that i got them in black just because i feel like it goes with all of my outfits like literally i've been wearing these almost every day and they're so comfortable and they're great for walking so 10 out of 10 would recommend sambas are still in style don't be fooled and yeah i love these and i got these in a size 7 which is true to size for me next up i got an item from alexander wang and this is also my first alexander wang item so i'm so excited this is a shirt that i have been looking at on their site for probably a year now and i got it on sale uh, I love that my birthday like coincides with all the Memorial Day sales, but this is the top. So it's basically this knit top. It's wool and it has a little like flap here. It's not really a flap because it's not actually folded over, but that's the illusion that it gives. And I really like the shape of this top. I already wore this top to dinner with some friends and I'm obsessed. I'll insert a video so you guys can see it on, but the top is super thick, which I think is really good for San Francisco summer because even when it's summer here, it still gets kind of chilly. So a top like this is literally perfect for that. And it just says Alexander Wang right here on the bottom. So very, again, unassuming. We love that, but I really like the quality of the shirt and it's basically exactly what I wanted. Only downside is it does tend to like slip down, but a little bit of fashion tape and you're good to go. So I'm super happy with this top. Next, I got a pair of pants from Aritzia that I actually tried on a couple weeks ago. And at the time I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get these. Like they're super cute, but they're kind of expensive. But since it was my birthday, I was like, why not? Because the pants were really, really did fit great. So I ordered these and this is the bureau pant. And I love this little fold over here with the white. And I got it in the Heather gray color. You guys will see in the try on. I do need to get these hemmed because again, I'm short, but I am obsessed with these pants. They fit really great. I can't wait to wear them for summer. And yeah, they're exactly what I wanted. I mean, I don't know what to say other than I am obsessed. And then I like the back of them too. It's very like business, but I feel like I can also wear it casually so we love a dual purpose pant but yeah aritzia for the win i feel like i love all of their items the next item that i picked up is another pair of shoes and they are from steve madden and these are the maven sandal in the white and black color and they have a ton of different colors they have like a olive green suede material they have these exact ones the leather and black um, or maybe this is faux leather, honestly, I don't know. But these are a really good dupe for the Hermes Shipper sandals. If you don't want to pay $1,000, um, these are about $90 and I am obsessed. I think I'm going to get the other colors. I really want the black and also the suede olive, but they've got even more colors than that. I've been wearing these almost every day, especially now that it's warmer and they go with all my outfits. So I love these, 10 out of 10 would recommend. They are super comfortable. Only thing for me is I find that sometimes they're a little hard to keep on my feet, but other than that, I am fully obsessed with these. Last but not least, I got some items from Zara. And to be honest, I don't love these items, so I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to keep them or not, but I thought I would show you guys anyways. So I got a top and I got it in black and also in white. So this is the top and it's not buttoned right now, but it's basically a vest top. You guys will see in the try on. I think it's okay. Honestly, I thought the material would be a little bit more knit and less like suit material, um, which that was like my bad. Um, but I also just don't love the cut of the arms on the top. So again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but that's the top in black. I do like the top a little bit more in white, like right here. I think the white looks a little bit better on me, but either way, I don't love the cut. 
but I might keep them. I'm gonna see, play around with it, see if I can get it to look good. Um, but those are the two tops that I got from Zara. And then the last item of this haul is a little bag that I got from Zara. I will say the bag looks super cute online and unfortunately I don't love it as much in person. Like it's not bad um, and it's cute. I think it might be good for, I don't know, summer. Definitely not the beach because of the size, but I like that it has these straps and I thought I would like that it has this chain crossbody, but honestly, I'm actually not loving that. So I tucked it in um, and you can also like detach the chain but I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to keep this as well. I think it is cute. I'm not as obsessed with this as I thought I would be, but we'll see what happens. So that's all of the gifts that I got myself. And although my birthday was like over a week ago, the festivities continue. My dad and I are going to celebrate when we go to the Canadian Grand Prix. So super excited for that and to hang out with him. So those were all of the gifts that I had got for myself. In addition to that, I also went to dinner with some friends, shout out Rhea and Ivy. And I also went to a baseball game with some of my other friends, Charlotte, Brenda, Bree, Charlie, shout out to you guys for going to the game and shout out to everyone who wished me happy birthday. Really appreciate it. Um, but that brings me to the end of this video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.